You're going to hear and see on TV, media, songs, you know, all the popular mainstream stuff. You're going to hear and see things that talk against masculinity in one way or another. It might not be directly, but there's definitely undertones, right? One example is that Barbie movie. Of course, I didn't see that bullshit, right? <laughs> I didn't go, I didn't pay $100 in the theaters. You know, theaters be jerking you, pause, just to go see a movie, right? You're going to spend 100 damn dollars for, for a popcorn and, and a motherfucking drink, right? But, you know, things like that, like the Barbie movie, of course, the message on there is, you know, F, F men. Like, that's, that's actually... <laughs> the message on there even though it's a movie about a damn doll and they still somehow managed to slide some kind of man hating message in there okay if you guys just heard a, a crinkle i'm wiping off the darn sweat i'm in this texas heat right but um we see all of all of these anti-man stuff we hear these hot hot girl type of broads you know you got big sexy red whatever the fuck her name is you got cardi b and meg all all of these type of broads and and what you know a lot of undertones to it is is man hating right so we hear and we see all of this stuff against men and honestly <laughs> none of that shit matters because when you step out into the real world, when you step out into the actual world and get out of this virtual mainstream social media narrative, you will know very quickly that masculinity is still and always will be in high demand, especially by women. Even though a lot of them won't admit it. OK, they have this deep resentment. But deep down inside, they know they know that they want a, a masculine, like a real masculine man. Right. Even though a lot of guys talk about, oh, they go for the a-holes and stuff like that. That don't matter, bro, because that's really what they see in their immediate environment. OK, but I'm going to get more into it. First of all, this is Tarek Talks Midnight Podcast. Sit down, relax and enjoy. This is an important one. They're not going to admit to you that deep down inside, aside from all of that, uh, you know, girl power and empowerment and all that good stuff. They're not going to admit to you that deep down inside when they go home lonely at night because they don't got no man. They're not going to admit to you that deep down inside they crave a masculine man. They want a man that's going to lead them sort of like a father figure. And no, this isn't on some weird incest Alabama, Alabama type of stuff. Shout out Alabama. First of all, shout out to the whole South, man. Shout, shout out Alabama. I'm not trying to pick on pick on y'all. I'm from Texas, so we know damn well it happens down here, too. Right. Shout out Mississippi, George, all, all y'all. But. When I say father figure, I mean a strong man that they can look up to, that they can follow, that will lead them. And unfortunately, a lot of them are going to deny it because for one, let's face it, we have a fatherless epidemic. Right? We're going to talk about some real stuff here, guys. We're, we're, we, we, we finna get into it. We're going to talk about very uncomfortable topics here. We have an epidemic of fatherlessness of men, of boys and girls that grew up in fatherless environments. And this is extremely harmful. So off rip, right? Unfortunately, if it's a young girl, fellas, follow me here now. I'm, I'm going to talk about something that these other lame, uh, you know, thirsty red pillars aren't going to talk about because they're going to teach you, oh, Oh, uh, this is how you get a one night stand. And this is how you pull IG baddies, corny shit like that. And that's not masculine. Okay. 
I'm going to talk about that in a little bit, but let me stay on topic here. They want a guy that's that's masculine, that's going to lead them, right? And like I was saying about the whole daughter thing, fellas, if you, I'm going to tell you something that a lot of these red pillars aren't going to tell you. If you have a daughter or a, a son, for that matter, be in their lives. You know, st- it's important, especially a young lady, because... What these young, what these red pillars and these corny ass manosphere dudes don't be saying is, is the way they act, right? They try to be this fake ass player, you know, pump and dump. They use these type of words. That's not masculine. That is not masculine because you're leading women astray. You're, you're leading them into a life of being lost, right? And I know what someone is thinking, oh, you're blaming men. You got to blame yourself at some point. You can't just blame blame women because what's the whole motto of the whole manosphere and all this shit? Men lead, right? So if we're leading young ladies to be doing type that type of stuff, guess what? They're going to follow that. They're going to see that guys are thirsty over IG models and all that stuff. So they, what they do, they go get BBLs because they're following what men are gravitating to. That's why they follow those trends. That's why you see all of these videos criticizing females like, oh, they're getting BBLs. Why you think that is, bro? Look at these male rappers. Look at these male entertainers. That's what they rap about. That's what they are glorifying. So, of course, women are going to follow. If men as a collective join together and we're like we don't like this type of stuff you know what i mean we ain't we ain't with it best believe females are gonna follow what the top men want but unfortunately a lot of top men are actually simps we hear all these rappers and shit oh she got a big she got a fat booty i'm gonna pay for that right i'm gonna pay for her bbl like you know if if it's if the if the kitty good i'm gonna throw a bag at it like what you know they see Females hear and and see all this stuff and they follow suit. Okay, so that is not masculine. A lot of these manosphere channels try to make it seem like these celebrities are masculine, bro. They are not. They're thirsty. Okay, they just got money. That's it. That's literally it. They are not masculine. They just have a lot of money. Having a lot of money does not make you quote unquote high value. Females will, as I said before, will not admit it. They won't admit that they want a man that they can trust, that they can trust. They won't admit to you that they want a man to come in their lives and bring some kind of order and structure. They're not. They're not going to admit that. Right. When they meet that guy, look, and these type of men that I'm talking about don't come very often. Matter of fact, they they don't really exist, unfortunately. But it's getting better again because a lot of men are starting to wake up, right? A lot of men are starting to wake up. These type of men don't exist, but but best believe these are the type of guys that are going to always be in a good relationship. You're going to these are the type of men you're going to see with a family. Okay? And I'm not saying they're perfect. I'm not saying that these that the men and women are perfect in these relationships, right? Nobody is perfect. Let's just get that out the way. Let's get that understood. But you're going to see these guys with families. You're going to see them raising these families. You're going to see them. You're going to see their women respecting them. Because by nature, dog, women are are lost out here. Okay? They're lost. They're, they're not going to tell you this once again. I'm going to keep harping on this fact. They're not going to admit that they're lost. They're not going to admit that they need a real, uh, you know what I'm saying? A masculine man to come and lead them. They're, they're going to be like, I don't need a man. I have this job. Guess what, honey boo? <laughs> honey boo boo, right? Let me let me clue you in on some. You could be the most successful entrepreneurial businesswoman with 20 fucking, co- with 20 companies, the CEO of all 20 of them, right? B- billions. And I know I'm, I'm, it's a stretch here, but at the end of the day, if you don't have a masculine man in your life, you aren't going to feel complete. 
you're not going to feel complete. So I know what someone is going to say, right? Oh, but they have their own this and their own. But all of that don't really mean shit when they're out here getting ran through by a bunch of guys that aren't masculine, that just want their twat and want to leave after they smash, right? We could we could talk about how successful and how many Merc uh, Benzes they have and BMWs and all that corny shit. At the end of the day, when they don't have that man in their life, guess what? They're going to be a successful woman with 20 CEO, you know, companies, a CEO of 20 companies and all that good shit. And guess what? When they go home, they're going to drink themselves to a stupor. They're going to have a full bottle of wine. They're going to be on a date nap getting ran through again for the billionth time this weekend. Right. And I'm going to get a lot of pushback for saying this. I'm going to get a lot of pushback for saying this. And guys, if you still with me on this video, type in a one if you feel me, man. If you feel me, type a one. That's really their fate. That is their ultimate fate when they don't have a masculine man in their life. Because there's it's it's missing something, dog. It's it's like this. It's like a brand new Ferrari. Beautiful red Ferrari. The newest, newest fashion. It goes uh you know 200 miles per hour and all that good stuff just just a just a hell of a machine but it don't have a motor inside it don't have a motor inside it's it's not, it's not going it's lost it's not going nowhere okay it's kind of how it is with a lot of these uh successful business women and shit like that a lot of them are single until their fucking 30s a lot of them are single until their 30s. Guess why? Because first of all, you know, this this is what y'all want to hear. This is what you want to hear, right? I know a lot of y'all, this is what you want to hear. I'm going to go and say it because there's a fault on both ends of the party. For one, the chick is very in her masculine, right? Meaning she doesn't want, she she's re resisting male authority, okay? That's for one. For two, she hasn't found a man that is actually masculine. So it creates this uh, spinster, you know, late 30s, still, you know, cat mom type of, of dynamic. That's what happens with females that don't have masculine direction, right? That is their faith, faith. So you best believe that all women, dog. They need that strong. It's it's masculinity is still and always will be in high demand. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys like this podcast. Peace.